From Robert Pattinson playing Twilight's most iconic vampire, to the girl who lived two lives in Hannah Montana, these are the stars who hated playing their roles. First, and probably the most shocking, did you know that Robert Pattinson hated playing Edward Cullen? You know, the attractive and very pale, sparkly vampire from the now legendary film series Twilight. It's no secret that this was the role that greatly helped Robert become a big star in Hollywood, after it catapulted him right into the spotlight. Surprisingly, it was actually Robert who hated playing the role of Edward. In fact, Pattinson was so angry with playing Edward Cullen that he nearly lost his job playing the role in the first installment of the franchise. The famous actor landed the role when he was only 21 years old. At the time, he thought it'd be a good idea to try to make his character more artistic. So he added his own artistic flair to Edward. Big mistake. The filmmakers felt that Robert's portrayal of Edward was too emo for their taste. Thankfully, Robert stuck around, and he gave teenage girls around the world one of the biggest debates of all time. Team Edward or Team Jacob? Who was the real heartthrob between the two? Speaking of stars hating their roles, another actor who despised her character is none other than Katherine Heigl from the iconic film Knocked Up. Did you know that there's been rumors about this floating around on the internet for years now? True story. Heigl played a woman who gets pregnant after a one-night stand and starred in the 2000 comedy opposite Seth Rogen. On set, Heigl's a major diva, and she's notoriously hard to work with. Many of you watching are probably not surprised that she made it onto our list. In a 2008 interview, Heigl said she felt the role was a little sexist and added, it paints the women as humorless and uptight, and it paints the men as lovable, goofy, fun-loving guys. Why is this how you're portraying women? Although later, Heigl did admit that she didn't completely hate the film and clarified her feelings by saying, I just didn't like me. And of course, by me, Heigl meant her character, Allison Scott. Fair enough. Not every role can be a winner, right? You win some, you lose some. Our next actor knows this feeling all too well. Despite being one of the most lovable characters on the show, How I Met Your Mother, Jason Segel was very disappointed with his role. Filming a TV show and developing a character comes with plenty of challenges and difficulties, especially if you end up on a sitcom with nine seasons. I mean, come on, you're stuck in that role for years and years. It becomes hard for viewers to see you as anything else, and it almost becomes a part of your identity. So when Siegel played Marshall Erickson, he had to deal with this dilemma and says it was one of the biggest problems in the world, despite being one of the best characters on the show in the eyes of many fans. In Jason's eyes, his character was flawed and he was against playing the role. Back in 2010, Siegel said he didn't feel that he had much more to offer as Marshall. Siegel explains, when your idol is Peter Sellers, playing one role for eight years isn't what you're trying to do. No argument there, Jason. Just take one look at Siegel's co-star, Josh Radner. You might be asking yourself, who is that? And that's exactly my point. Radner played Ted, the main character. But have you ever seen him in anything else? Not really, because he's now typecast and will be forever known as Ted. Now, unlike Siegel, our next actress became one of the biggest faces in Hollywood, Kate Winslet starring in some of the biggest films ever made, including 1997's Titanic. Believe it or not, Winslet wasn't fond of her portrayal of Rose at all. But there's no question that Titanic established Winslet as one of the top actors of her generation. That much is clear. Titanic catapulted both Winslet and Leonardo DiCaprio to superstardom. Despite the film's obvious success, Winslet wholeheartedly believes that her portrayal of Rose was a shipwreck. And yes, pun fully intended. In fact, Winslet often criticizes her American accent and labels it as awful. In my humble opinion, Winslet absolutely nailed the part of Rose. And something tells me that if she were to redo it today, it would still be truly epic. Speaking of epic performances, our next actor is the cream of the crop, George Clooney. Unfortunately, George isn't a fan of his performance as the legendary Cape Crusader, Batman. When discussing his performance in Batman and Robin, 
Clooney was upfront about the fact that he not only hated his performance as Batman, but he also had a strong dislike for the movie as a whole. Yikes. Clooney then became even angrier with his character when it became clear that it contributed to the film's box office failure. Double yikes. Clooney believes that many of the lines in Batman and Robin's script were repetitive and poorly written, further contributing to both the failure of the film and his subpar performance. Even though Batman and Robin is technically a Batman movie, Clooney felt constrained by the movie's scant attention to the character of Batman. Fair enough. I mean, it really is the worst Batman movie of them all. That much is clear. Since we're on the topic of superhero movies and actors who hated their performances, I wouldn't be any good at my job if I didn't mention the name Ryan Reynolds. It's no secret that Reynolds despises the movie Green Lantern. In fact, he hated the film so badly that he even criticized the below-average CGI effects while acting in his other superhero movie, Deadpool. The Green Lantern is a well-known DC character with legions of loyal fans all over the globe. So the fact that the 2011 film bombed at the box office is still talked about to this day. Reynolds playing a lovable superhero seems like a match made in heaven, right? But part of the problem was that Reynolds was unable to see any quality in the end result because he simply hated the film so much. Maybe he just didn't have his head in it from the very beginning, and that tainted his performance. But unlike Green Lantern, this next movie was a raging success. Do you remember a little movie called High School Musical? The film was a huge success among preteens back in 2006 and starred heartthrob Zac Efron. But did you know that Zac didn't actually like his performance or his character? Zac Efron rose to fame all thanks to his lead role in the Disney Channel movie in which he played Troy Bolton, the typical popular high school basketball player who is both a singer and an athlete. Roughly 10 years later though, Efron reflected on his teenage self and said, like, fuck that, man. I step back and look at myself and I still want to kick that guy's butt sometimes. Despite his disdain for High School Musical, without it, we wouldn't be talking about Zac Efron today because none of us would know who he is. Last but not least, did you know Miley Cyrus had a very tough time during her days as Hannah Montana? Like Efron, Miley gained fame for her role as Hannah Montana on the Disney Channel. But what you probably didn't know is that Miley's been very open about how the role has severely impacted her emotional and mental health. In a 2015 interview, Cyrus talked about the difficult time she had while working on the Hannah Montana set, which included embarrassing situations, panic attacks, and the challenges of dealing with unattainable beauty standards. Can you see a recurring theme here? Do all Disney stars hate their childhood roles when they grow up? Certainly seems that way. So, from Robert Pattinson, not enjoying his role as one of the most memorable vampires of all time, to Miley Cyrus struggling behind the cameras on the set of Hannah Montana. Those were stars who hated playing their roles. 